Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about how we can create Power BI file template for a SharePoint site every time. So I have a requirement uh, where I have 50 SharePoint sites. Every SharePoint site have a one list structure which is common across all 50 sites. Now client wishes to create one general template file when uh, when user will click on that template file they just need to provide the URL of that particular site and based on that site collections URL it will prompt the credential and it will load the data automatically from that particular list so basically they need they want to create one template for their report and wanted to have one parameter URL from the drop down which user will accept and load the report so now let's get started how to achieve that okay so in the first part of this uh, video is to have the connection of the SharePoint site for that just go to the SharePoint online connector from online services select SharePoint online site so basically I have the two site collection one is HRMS under HRMS I have a list R1 and I have the another site that is sub HR which is under HRMS and the list name is the CKM that is R1 and both the list have the same schema title so schema of the list should be same list can be uh, reside on the different site collection or maybe in the different sites alright so now just uh, copy this URL to establish the connection so I'm just adding the connection it will prompt you the username and password so from microsoft account uh, select your appropriate credential currently uh, i'm not showing that credential part in this video due to some security reason now select the list that is r1 list that i wish to load and wanted to develop the report based on that just click on the load button so my power bi report from the hrms site has been developed successfully it has loaded all the data from the list r1 so now let's check that thing all right you can see that on the right hand side all the fields has been loaded now i'm taking the table visualization and add the title field over there and let's see whether it has loaded all the nine records from the list or not so it has loaded all the nine records over here so i'm just increasing the text size so you can see it in a better manner you can see here all the nine records from the table list r1 has been loaded successfully uh, because hrms site has nine records all right okay uh, and for your practice i'm going to provide you this file as well so you can directly download from the github account all right uh, now we need to make one change over here we need to use the concept of manage parameter uh, for creating a drop down of different site collection so for that just click on the edit queries from the home option from the manage parameters click on the new parameter give the name of your parameter enter the description make the field as a required parameter now select any type from here suggested value select list of the values enter all the site collections url over here i have 50 site collection so add all 50 site collection over here so currently i am just adding only the two site collections url so i am just adding those values make sure that you will add this slash at the end default value if you wish to add any default value i am going to put this value current value the current report is generated with this hr site right now so just click on the ok button so now my manage parameter has been created successfully now i need to pass this manage parameter to my connection so select the list r1 and click on the advanced editor it is the out of the box code which was generated for the first time now here we need to make some joint changes 
So first of all, we need to pass the manage parameter that we just created. So just pass that site URL over here. So it will dynamically accept that site URL. Now here, we just need to add the list by name instead of ID. So currently this is the name of the list internal name R1. So instead of that, we are just pull pulling the list name from the title. So just make title and R1. Now this is the name of the step. So just rename this step as a list name and pass the step name in the third step as well. So just do it like this. All right, just click on the done button. So my manage parameter has been created successfully and it has been applied to the query as well. Now click on the close and apply button. Nine rows has been added successfully. Now it's time to generate the template for the same. So go to the file menu and go to the export button and click on the Power BI template. Now add the template description. So I am adding this template description. Please select the site URL to generate your own template and click on the OK button. So it will ask for the path. I just added this path. My template has been generated successfully. Now go to the path from the explorer. Now you can see here the template has been generated. Now just double click on this template. So it will open the Power BI desktop again. Now I, I will generate my report from this sub HR file. So under the table, we should have only seven records because HRMS has nine records, but sub HR has only seven records. So uh, the only test case here is it should do with the seven record. All right. So let's see what it will do. It will, it has prompted for the site URL. So you can see here the instruction that we have added while at the time of exporting. And this is our manage parameter name. Now from this drop down, we just need, like, need to select this sub site that is sub HR and just click on the load button. And here it is. The report has been loaded with the seven records. So the report has been generated. Now you just need to save this report file and publish in your workspace as per your convenience. So this is how we can easily create the Power BI template file for the SharePoint data source. You can create the same data so same template file for the different other data sources as well, like SQL Server or maybe the Excel spreadsheet. So uh, just create your template file and share your experience with me. If you have any question related to this manage parameter and Power BI gen template generation procedure, you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can directly WhatsApp me on plus 919537981467. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you are for the first time to my video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification for never miss any updates from my channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.